Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. This tutorial is the continuation of the previous tutorial. In that we discussed about the quick sort algorithm and how to sort the number in the ascending order by taking the last element as the pivot element. And in this tutorial we will see how to select the first element as the pivot element and how to take the random element as well as how to take the median of three values as the pivot element as well as we'll see how to arrange the number in the descending order okay so this is the previous example and in that we took the last element as the pivot element and we arrange the number in the ascending order so today we'll take another example in that we'll take the first element as the pivot element and we'll arrange the number in the ascending order first okay Okay, so this is the example. Here we'll take the first element as the pivot. Okay, so here this is the pivot value. So this will be the right mark. So the variable right, which will point towards the last value of the list. And here this will be the left variable. Okay, in the previous example, when we took the last value is the pivot element then we took left as the first element of the list and right as the last minus one but here we took pivot as the first value so we need to take the next value as the left value and the last value as right value okay so now we need to do the same thing that is we need to compare the values with the pivot element first we'll start from the left okay so first I need to check whether left index is less than or equal to right. Yes, left is 1, right is 5. So left is the smaller. So I'll check the value present in the left, whether it is less than or equal to pivot element. So first I'll check whether 26 is less than or equal to 54. Yes, it is true. If it is true, then I need to move towards the next value, right? So now, so left will point towards the 93. The value of left index is 2 okay so now again I'll check whether left is less than or equal to right so left value is 2 right value is 5 so left is less than right so I can check the value now so I'll check whether 93 is less than or equal to 54 no it is false right it's not true so I'll stop here now I'll go to the right side and I'll check the values so first thing I need to do is I need to check whether left is less than or equal to right okay yes it is right value is greater so I'll check the value present in the right that is 31 is greater than or equal to pivot value that is 54 okay in the right side we want the value greater than the pivot so I'll check so this will be the right side okay I'll check 31 is greater than or equal to 54 that is the pivot value no it is not okay the condition become false so i'll stop here so in the left side we got a value which is greater than pivot and in the right side we got the value which is less than pivot so we need to swap those numbers so we need to swap 93 and 31 okay so here 31 come will here 93 will go here okay so now again i'll check from the left side I'll check first whether left value is less than or equal to right this condition so yes left value is 2 right value is 5 so left is smaller so I can check the next condition that is the value present in the left index is less than or equal to 54 so I need to check 31 is less than or equal to 54 true right so I need to move to the next value so now left is 17 so now again i'll check whether left is less than or equal to right yes left value is 3 right value is 5 so left is smaller so then i'll check the value present in the left that is 17 is less than or equal to 54 yes again it is true so i'll move towards the next value so now left value is this okay left value become 4 the value present in that is 77 so now again I'll check whether left is less than or equal to right. Yes, left value is 4, right value is 5. So left is smaller than right. So I can check the value. 
so 77 is less than or equal to 54 no it is not condition become false so i need to stop here okay now i'll move towards the right side so i'll check the value present in the right so before that i need to check whether left is less than or equal to right this condition yes it is true so i'll check the value present in the right that is 93 is greater than or equal to 54 yes it is true so i need to move towards the next value so right will point here now so now again i need to check whether the left is less than or equal to right here left is equal to right because both are pointing towards the index 4 so that's okay so i need to check the value present in the right that is 77 is greater than the pivot value that is 54 yes it is true right 77 is a greater value so i need to move towards the next value so right will come here so right index become 3 so now to check the next condition i need to check this condition whether left is less than or equal to right no it is not because left value is 4 but right value is 3 okay left is greater than right so if this condition occurs i need to stop everything right this means we got the correct position of the pivot element to place that in the correct position what we need to do we need to swap pivot value and the value present in the right index why because previously as i said if you take last element as the pivot okay then you need to swap the value present in the left index and pivot if you take first element as the pivot okay then you need to swap the value present in the right index as well as pivot okay so i need to swap the value present in the right index as well as the pivot that's nothing but i need to swap 17 and 54 okay here we took value 54 as the pivot value so 54 is here now we got the correct position of the 54 so now what is the next step we need to divide the list based on this pivot element right the value present in the left side of this pivot element are smaller than pivot element the value present in the right side of the pivot element are greater than the pivot element so to divide this we'll get sublist here 17 26 31 here 77 93 okay 54 is sorted and we are dividing this as like this okay so 54 is sorted now again i need to do the same thing i need to take the first value as the pivot okay and i need to do the same steps and i need to place the correct position of the pivot value okay so here i'll take 17 as pivot this as left this as right right so i'll check whether left is less than or equal to right yes it is so i'll check the value present in the 26 is less than or equal to 17 no it is not so i'll stop i'll go towards the right and i'll check whether left is less than or equal to right i need to check this condition every time okay i need to check the value present in the right index that is 31 is greater than or equal to 17 yes it is true right so i need to move towards the next value if the condition become true i need to move towards the next value right so now left and right are pointing towards the same index that is 1 so left is equal to right that's okay this condition satisfies so i need to check the value present in the right okay so that's nothing but this is for left and this is right right so value present in the right index that is 26 is greater than or equal to 17 yes it is true right because 26 is greater than 17 so i need to move towards the next value now right will point towards the pivot value that is zero index to check the next condition first i'll check this left is less than or equal to right here right is smaller than left left value is 1 right value is 0 right so 
this condition fails so i need to stop now i need to swap the value present in the right and pivot because both are same here right is pointing towards the zero index and pivot is also at zero index that's nothing but i need to swap 17 with the 17 so this is the correct position that means this is present in the correct position okay so 17 is in the correct position that means so here 17 is the pivot value and it will divide the sub list as 26 and 31 okay there are no sub list here because there is no element present in the left side of the pivot value okay so again we need to do the same thing that is i need to take 26 as the pivot element and i need to find out its correct position and i need to divide the list here we'll get 26 as the pivot value right next and we'll get 31 when we got the single element we need to stop okay so here from here we'll get 26 and 31 this is 17 26 31 okay so these are swapped that's why we got this list and here we'll do the same thing that is we'll take the first as the pivot element and we'll divide the list and when we get a single element in the list we'll stop okay so we'll get the final output like this okay so it is 17 31 54 77 93 okay the values are in the ascending order so okay in this way by taking the first value as the pivot element you can do that so there is nothing difference in the previous example and this example right we need to compare the values with the pivot element pivot element can be last element or first element or we can choose it randomly also as i said these two methods that is selecting the first element and the last element as the pivot is not good choice when the sorted list is given or reverse sorted list is given right so in that time you can choose the random element as the pivot element or we can go for the median of three values suppose if i take a list okay so it contains few element in the program we'll use a random function okay we don't know which element we are selecting as the pivot for example we can take this as the pivot element okay so then i need to compare all the elements with this pivot element to make it easier to compare you can do one thing if this is the pivot element it is present in the middle of the list right so what i can do is i can swap this value with the last index or with the first index okay so something like this eight three if i swap it to last index then one four seventeen okay now seventeen will be present at last so now you can solve this right this is similar to the taking last element as the pivot element so choose a random element from the list as the pivot element then swap it to the last position or the first position of the list then continue the process it is easier right there is no need of uh, copying it to last position or first position but uh, sometimes we can see if i take this as left and this as right okay in some cases left will point towards the index where the pivot element is present right in that time we need to compare 17 with the 17 that is pivot element with the pivot element if you want to avoid this then you can do this you can place that in the corner of the list and you can compare all other values with that okay so if you compare pivot with pivot nothing with strong you can do that okay and for that median of three values what we can do is median of i can take first index and then that is the value present in the zeroth index and middle index and the last first element last element and middle element okay so you can find out the median of these three and you can take that element as the pivot element okay so in the program we'll use the median function itself but if you want to find out manually then you can do like this okay i'll show you how to find out the median now so here what you need to do is you need to take the first value present in the zeroth index that is 10 okay so it is the first element next i need to take the last element that is one last next i need to take the middle element okay so here we can see there are even numbers so to find out the middle element i'll use like this okay 
so if i take this index as low if it is as high okay so i'll take low plus high truncated division 2 okay this truncated division always will give the integer value so here 0 plus 5 divided by 2 so it will give 2 so this value will become middle value okay so 3 in this case so i need to find out the median right so to find out the median first i'll write down the values that is 10 uh, 3 and 1 right the first element middle element and the last element so now i need to sort this okay so if in the ascending order if i sort this 1 3 10 or descending order so the middle element will be the median okay so here 3 will be the median okay so i'll take this as the pivot value and i can compare all the values with this pivot value and i can sort the values okay so these are the four ways to select the pivot element next is here in all example we arrange the number in the ascending order if i want to arrange the number in the descending order then how to do that simple in that case you need to change the symbol of this condition that's it okay here we are checking a of left the value present in the left index should be less than or equal to pivot it is for ascending order but for the descending order you should do this a of left okay it should be greater than or equal to pivot because we want the bigger value in the left side and here right side a of right should be less than or equal to pivot okay simple change like this okay 10 4 1 17 23 5 okay so i took some random numbers so here what i'll do is i'll take the first element as the pivot element okay this will be left this will be right i need to check whether the left element is greater than or equal to pivot here we will check 4 is greater than or equal to 10 false right so i'll stop here i'll go to the right side here i want the element lesser than the pivot value so i'll check in the right side i'll check value 5 is less than or equal to 10 yes it is true so i'll move to the next value i'll take this as the right value okay i'll check whether 23 is less than or equal to 10 no it is not so i need to swap 23 and 4 okay so this is the change okay previously we wanted the smallest value in the left side bigger value in the right side but here opposite here we want bigger value in the left side and the smaller value in the right side for that you need to check these two condition okay this condition is same left always should be less than or equal to right all right so in this way you can arrange the number in the descending order okay so that's about the example guys so in the next tutorial we'll see the algorithm as, as well as we'll write the program for all these condition so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care